Keyblade. A truly marvelous weapon. I know. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves! <laughs> Organization 13! Good, now we can settle this. What a shame. And here I thought we could be friends. <laughs> What's the big idea? Oopsie daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. But we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't I remind you how tough the crowd you're dealing with really is? Remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's right! You used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! Was that Axel? I couldn't tell from the voice. Yes, he got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. Ha 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 ha. That's not. No. Well. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. <laughs> wow. Huh? What's this? Gorsh, you think? Yeah, what did you put in these cards? Now I get it. That must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh boy! Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. Is that it? Are we done with Hollow Bastion? Do my eyes deceive me? Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow and he's pure of heart, unlike all of us here. He had better be, or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, 
As long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. Okay, I guess we're done with Hollow Bastion. That's, um, all right. Well, he did say he's never coming back. Uh, try approaching a door shaped gummy on the screen. Arrive. You can't land on worlds not connected by gummy roots. Clear gummy roots to connect the worlds. Oh, right. You gotta play the gummy thing. So I have... Stardust Sweep. Which is... Oh, I see. That's gonna be Beast Place because of the rose. And then this is Mulan. Asteroid sweep. Well, let's do this one first. Ah, oh. Oh. Can I? But I don't have any, uh, I don't have any blueprints. I don't want any blueprints. I want to build one on my own. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I need to make myself a gummy ship. I'll be right back. 3.28 a.m. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, so, uh, things got a little crazy. Um, this recording, uh, and my next one, which, which will happen, oh, a bit down the road, um, I find out that uh, my voice was completely blown out. Um, for whatever reason, my computer turned my mic volume up to max uh, without my permission. And um, uh, for about, oh, a good two hours of content, I, I went back and listened to the recording and it was just blasting my voice out. It was completely un unacceptable um, and would have killed the experience, which is sad because, uh, I, I debuted my new gummy ship, and uh, I started, um, well, actually, I did all of Bell's Castle, and um, not all, but a lot of Mulan stuff, um, so I'm going to re-record all that, um, and, and again, I'll give this explanation again, because I found this after I made that explanation, so I, at first, I thought it was only partway through Beast Castle, um, and I re-recorded all that, and then, like, a couple days later when I'm editing all this, I find that, nope, 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 it was all the way back here when I debuted my gummy ship. So, um, this is just a real quick, uh, addendum to add where I'll debut my gummy ship, uh, again, and then kind of go through what we missed on Bell's Castle to get you up to date on where we are on the other recording. It really sucks, but let's do what we can. First things first, though, let's show you my amazing creative genius that is... The gummy ship. Ah, uh, buddy. I'm excited. Yeah, of course, I've already done this once. Um, and sure, I've got other blueprints for other ships, but I don't need those. Because I have space man. <laughs> He's a man that flies through space. <laughs> and uh, I really need to fix those thrusters. <laughs> they are not attached to him at all. But there he is! Space 
Man! <laughs> you see all his weapons are attached to his shoulders. <laughs> I need to find a way to put a smiley face on him. <laughs> this makes me giggle every time I see it. Look at my genius architecture. My glorious design. And welcome to the gummy ship courses in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. A bit different from the first Kingdom Hearts. A bit more bullet helly. Oh boy. Not my favorite parts of the game, I'll be honest. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of bullet hells, but I've played them before. Um, when I was a kid, I used to have one on my computer I played all the time called Raptor. Uh, it was an airplane one. It was fun, but again, not my, not my cup of tea. But hey, it gives me a chance to use space. Man, <laughs> which I adore. So hey, all in all, it's a plus. Uh, but I will say, don't expect me to uh, just go through and do absolutely everything I can on the gummy ship front, because meh. <laughs> I will design more gummy ships, though. Oh well, I don't know. Either I will design more gummy ships that are as absurd. Or I will just continue to improve upon space. Man. Not sure yet. I guess we'll figure out as time goes on. Whee! La da da da. Da da da. Hello. 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 It's such a weird thing to throw into your game. It's just like, hey, let's combine Disney and Final Fantasy together. Okay, that's cool. Also, um, Galaga. Wait, what? Yeah, no, Galaga. That's cool. Let's add it. Let's throw it in there. Uh, okay. I need more lock-on lasers. Whee! Hey, look, it's the boss. You can't get space, man. He's too spacey for you. <laughs> we did it! Hooray for space! Man! Alright, so. That's my new gummy shirt. Oh, my, my dog's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Alright, buddy. It's just, it's how you gotta say it, puppers. You can't just say space, man. That's, that's lame. You gotta put some oomph into it. Alright, so, um... Yeah... Then I landed here. Uh, luckily you haven't missed much. Um... Basically, let me go all the way back out here to the courtyard. You, uh, you land in the courtyard out here. Ah, oh, we'll just ignore these for now. Out of the way, you! Uh, we landed out here in the courtyard. Uh, and we're like, oh, hey, we know this castle. This is, uh, the castle where Beast is. You guys remember Beast? He was in the first game. We were helping him look for Bell and Hollow Bastion. Hey, he'll be excited to see us. And then, um, we walked inside and, uh, we met Beast, but Beast was all grumpy like and angry. And we're like, oh, hey there, guy. What's, what's going on with you? And, and then we started exploring the castle. Oh, whoops. And uh, we basically just went through here. Okay, let me just let me just let me just kill these real quick. There we go. 
Um, we found the ballroom, which is in here, which we're not going to go in yet because there's nothing in there. Nothing story-wise, anyway. There's some, uh, some big guys that give us decent XP, but I have already leveled up the banana. Um, that's not a saying, Squee. That's not... People don't say that. Uh, we went here to the West Wing, and, uh, we went down this, uh, this hallway. You know what? I'm just going to ignore him. And, uh, we went in this room, and we found Belle. And Bell, uh, yeah, well, actually, I think I explained that in the other video, too, because uh, we find Bell and she says stuff. So I'm just going to end this here, and then my next video, or my next cut, will explain more. So, okay, there's what you missed. Sorry about that. Let's continue. Three days later. Ow. Oh, hello there. How's everyone doing? Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. So... <laughs> So I grinded for a bit. Uh, I got to level 20. I started at level 12, but then I got to level 20. And uh, then I recorded like an hour and a half of gameplay. Um, but unfortunately, said hour and a half of gameplay, my computer, for some random reason that I am not aware of, uh, decided to blow my mic up to max so that all of my recordings hurts the ears. That hour and a half is just me, like blowing out my mic. It's it's it was nuts. It was completely unlistenable, um, which really stinks. Because as you can see, I, I completed Beast's Castle and had gone to the Land of the Dragons. <sighs> and I shall have to do it all again because that's the kind of quality I commit to for you. Um, I'm not exactly where I left off, where I grinded. Um, my earliest save is, 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 is very, very close. Um, I'm right here. So I, I, I walked down the hallway and uh, met Belle. And Belle was all like, oh no, the, hey, Sora and Donald and Goofy. And, uh, and she tried to choke out Donald. It was actually pretty brutal to watch. It was um, not for kids. Don't know why she did that. Uh, but then she said, A hey, uh, Beast isn't acting like himself. He's being strange and weird, and he's locked up all his servants in the basement. <laughs> so, you know, that's 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 a thing that Beast did. Uh, and we're like, oh, well, we'll go rescue him, because why not? We're good people. Um, and yes, I did level up to level 20 uh, during my grinding session. Um... It took about about two hours of grinding, more or less. Uh, I didn't actually plan on grinding that long, and you certainly don't need to grind that long in this game. Um, helps if I pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, I just did because uh, I'm a masochist. Uh, it was made easier because at some point I got uh, a nifty new ability called uh calm experience boost is what i got experience boost um when you're at half health or less you get twice the xp which is really cool um and i use that quite a bit so yeah i'm level 20 now let's uh i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm gonna rush through this just a tad only because i just did this yesterday <laughs> And I don't want to do it again. But uh, I don't want to skip the story either. You know, I want you guys to uh, to experience the whole thing. Plus, I've got a lot to say about uh, Beauty and the Beast's story. Uh, which I will get to momentarily. Can't go up there yet. Uh, I got all the chests in here already. But uh, I haven't, um, haven't talked to her. So we shall do so now. Yeah, buddy, you don't just put your hands on a wardrobe without asking, all right? Jeez. 2019, man. So, uh, what you gotta do here, that I, it took me all of, like, five minutes to figure out, whoops, um, is you gotta move her while she's sleeping, but she will randomly wake up. See? Like that? She'd be like, oh, 
That's fine if you're standing right next to me. As long as you're not actually pushing me. That's cool. Let me stop. Up, 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 up. Nope. Are you right where you are? Yep, sure you are. Absolutely. And... Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And there we go. And for some reason now, she's fine with it. And I was just starting to get comfortable. May I help you? Huh? What? Oh, right! Bell needs us to go to the dungeon. Goodness, you're here to help my friends. Well, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> Sorry I startled you. Oh, I used to be human, you know. Until the enchantress cast her spell. I was turned into a wardrobe when the prince was turned into a beast. The prince is a beast? The beast is a prince? That's right. Although his behavior was far from princely at the time. Okay, now I've got contentions there, but we'll we'll get to that. Uh, what's this about a spell? Well, it was a cold winter's night. And that's enough for now. You'll hear the rest when you've rescued the others. What a tease. Oh, fine. All right. Clock? You'll find out soon enough. Yes, Goofy. A clock. I mean, she was turned into her wardrobe. Doesn't take too much to put two and two together. I thought you were the smart one, Goofy. This must be it. That's always been something that bugs me in um, movies and video games when like people punch their fists together. No one does that in real life. Do you know why? Have you ever tried it? It hurts like, like sin. And yes, I've tried it and it hurts very much badly. You are literally punching your knuckles together. That's not good. That's not fun. No one likes that. So no one does that. So when they do it in movies, it looks cool. But it's hilarious because you know that no one actually does that. Just try it one day if you're ever doubting me. You will not appreciate the results. Oh, wow. I got hurt actually pretty badly. Okay. You know what? I am going to take a high potion because I got tons of those. And not a lot of potions, actually. No. Come here. Oh, you know what? Chance. Come here, you. Can I get him before he gets back in there? No. Okay. So I don't have a choice there. I'm not going Valor form. I don't really need to yet. I'll hit it like right before I. Uh... You know what? I think I hit it now. Let's do this. Double Keyblades! Come here, you. I'm gonna slaughter you in my Keyblade form. Alright, so I got Upper Slash, which uh, is somewhat useful. Not incredibly useful to me. So, yes, level 20 may be just slightly higher than suggested for this, for this uh, castle. But hey, it's not my fault, game. You shouldn't have let me level. You think the dungeon's past this door? Come on, we gotta set their servants free. He's right, let's go. Whee. So I'm not gonna waste too much time trying to get all these little things. If I can get them quickly, I will. But I've come to the conclusion 
that uh, a lot of these um, I'm probably going to have to come back and get later. So I'm not too worried about it. There's nobody here. Hmm? You mean there's mm. nobody to rescue? <sighs> Did someone say rescue? Oh, oh I do the cutscene in that quiet. costume. It might be huh? them. Oh, they look like nice boys to me. We are nice. We're your friends. Yeah, Fel sent us to find you. Wow. I'm Sora. Donald. Goofy. I am self winding, sir. Uh-huh. I am not goofy. I'm glad you're okay. It is we who are overjoyed to see you. Did somebody put a spell on you guys, too? No. Yes, that's right. You heard. It was the Enchantress. Ooh. It seems so long ago. It was a cold winter's night. An old beggar woman came to the castle and asked for shelter. But the master of this castle, that is, of course, the prince, who is... Stop that! Put me down this instant! Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> the master turned her away. All because of her <laughs> meager appearance. That's awful. Oi! He was a splendid prince, so a spoiled prince, so selfish and how shall I say, cruel. Lumir. The old woman warned our master not to be deceived by appearances. Still, he would not take her in. Then the old woman's ugliness melted away to reveal a beautiful enchantress. She turned the prince into a beast, a shape she thought fitting for his cold heart. And to further punish him, everyone in the castle was enchanted too. Okay, now we're going to take a pause here, because I just want to make sure I've got this right. So what you're saying is, Prince, who may have been a bit spoiled, but obviously wasn't an evil person. I mean, look how loyal his servants are to him, right? How bad of a guy could he have been? Maybe a little selfish, maybe a little spoiled, maybe a bit of a bro, sure. Um, but he, obviously he's not a, 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 a really evil guy, but... Some old beggar woman walks up to his door and says, Hey, hey, let me crash on your couch. And he goes, No, no, you, you can't crash on my couch. And the beggar woman goes, Don't be deceived by appearances. And he goes, That's not convincing at all. You still, you can't crash on my couch. And she goes, Oh, well, aha, I'm a pretty woman and I'm going to curse you forever. Like, doesn't that seem absurd to anyone else? You can't just go around turning people into monsters because they're not letting you crash on their couch. That's not a cool thing to do. How is how is this not the villain of the movie? She could have potentially ruined his life and the life of every servant in the castle because she didn't get to crash on his couch. That's not that's not appropriate. That's not no. <laughs> just no. <clears throat> Hashtag Gaston. Gaston did nothing wrong. Have you guys ever seen the dancing Gaston? Oh, what an absolute unit. Sorry, what was I talking about? Right, yeah, no. Um, I've always had contentions with this story. The prince seemed like uh, maybe a bit of a dick, but fairly reasonable. How many of you are going to let some homeless person walk up to your door and go, Oh yeah, sure, you can crash on my couch. Uh, help yourself to some of my valuables on your way out. No one would do that. Oh, well. Oh, no, dear. We already know what needs to be done, but with the master out of sorts. He sure is acting weird. It's almost as if he's forgotten to trust others. You don't suppose he's been turned into a heartless, do you? <gasps> heartless. You said the magic words. If they're a part of this, then it's a good thing we're here. Let's go find the beast. Follow me, Monsieurs. I know a shortcut. Good for you.